What's up? Brandon Lilly here. Got a question today at lillytraining at yahoo.com. The question was, how important do you think it is for someone to train without a belt, without wrist straps, without knee wraps? And, um, you know, that's a good question. A lot of people, there are some people who adhere to the idea that if you can, if you can compete with a belt, knee wraps, and wrist wraps, then that's how you should train to maximize those tools. I, on the other hand, look at myself as a body, as this is all I've got is my body. And if I can strengthen that, then when I add in those tools or those, you know, that safety equipment, such as a wrist wrap belt or knee wraps, I'm only going to better myself. So do I think it's necessary to train without that stuff all the time? No, because if you're competing with those things, you definitely need to learn how to use them properly. You definitely want to get a maximum uh, gain or benefit from those tools. Um, there are some people I know who say, okay, I can only get, you know, 30, 40 pounds out of my knee wraps. And then there are some guys um, who say they get well over 100 pounds. I know for myself, my best gym squat is 771 without knee wraps, belt only. My best meet or I'm, my best gym lift with knee wraps and belt is 850. Look at my meat lifts. My best meat lift, no, or no wraps, is 760. My best meat lift with wraps is 843. So it's about 80 pounds that I'm getting from my knee wraps. There was a time when I wasn't getting that, but I further my understanding of how to use the knee wraps. I got better technique with the knee wraps, and I started getting more and more pounds out of them. You know, and also, um, I think that I, be, I just became stronger without them. So when I put them on, I got more benefit from them. Uh, that is one thing that I, I will argue with anybody on. And the reason uh, a lot of people say that the, you know, like deadlifting or squatting without a belt isn't safe is they tend to try to use a maximum weight uh, right away. What I did when I started deadlifting without my belt was I would warm up to say 400 pounds and then I would put my belt on. Well, soon I started up in that. I would warm up to say 455. You know, I didn't go straight from 400 to 455 with no belt. I would warm up to like 415 with no belt, 425 with no belt, 435, 445, 455, so on and so forth. So I gradually built myself up until I've, I've managed to pull in a 781 with no belt. And uh, my best pull in a meet was 816, best pull in a gym, 821. So I know, and if I look back over the course of, of my progression, when I pulled 804 at Mark's meet at uh, 2012, my best beltless pull was 765, so that's about 40 pounds. When I pulled 810 in March, my best pull was 770. When I pulled the 816, it was 775. Right after that, it was 770, 777, and then I pulled the 826, or 821. So as you can see, I know that as long as I'm getting stronger without my belt, I'm within about 40 pounds of what I can pull maximally. And I usually don't pull that heavy of a weight in the gym. I usually save my big belted pulls for the meat. Recovering from a 770 pound pull is gonna be easier, even, even if it's just slightly, is gonna be easier on my body than recovering from an 810 pound pull. I don't care what anybody says, I don't care you know, it's simple, it's less weight, so it's easier to recover from. So what I do is I always train very heavy without my belt as I worked up to that point. And then when I go to the meet, I'll put my belt on there for my heaviest pull. I'll do some speed pulls or some rep pulls starting in about five weeks out, uh, wearing my belt, and that will allow me to get acclimated to it, feel comfortable in it. But I don't pull anything heavy really until the meet with my belt on and it feels really really good when I do uh, same for the, my wrist wraps when I'm benching a lot of times you'll see me do self handouts up to like 540 pounds no wrist wraps um, because I'm trying to strengthen this myself I'm trying to become as absolutely as strong as possible without any help and then whenever I add in the other stuff it just makes things easier one of my greatest training partners is Jason Parman He's a strongman, and when I was doing strongman competitions and so on, um, Jason always had a saying. He was like, "We're going to train harder than you play." So if we had to, you know, let's say we did a 18-inch deadlift, 
we would put the bar at 16 inches so it was a further pull if we had to do a 300 pound or a 275 pound farmers it was a 300 pound farmers if we had to do a 650 pound yoke we were doing a 700 pound yoke in training we made our training more violent and more aggressive so when we went to the meet we were absolutely prepared and Louie always said the same thing too he said you should absolutely fear your training so you can enjoy the competition and I believe that and that's what I've always stuck to training without a belt training without wrist straps training without knee wraps has made me a better lifter that's my opinion that's my opinion that I'm sharing with you there may be somebody else that disagrees with that that doesn't mean that they're not right either they may have great results like the little bridges I know that they train in their knee wraps almost exclusively and look at them I can't argue with their results they're they're much better squatters than I am but I believe in what I do and I'm sharing with you what I do so thank you guys for watching tune in next time